So this video is a tutorial on New York State, if you're doing the research on New York State for auction information. I wanted to go over this video because, uh, as you already know, every state has a different process from other states. And New York, all the counties are already plugged in as organizations into the CRM, but obviously we'll have lots of follow-up to do on each county. And so it's important to watch this video because you'll get uh, the lay of the land and see how New York State does their auctions, which will help you do your job and make it straightforward and easy to understand. New York State typically will have, uh, there's something called Real Property Law 11, and that is widespread among most of the counties in New York State. I believe there's five or possibly six counties around the New York City area. They kind of do their own thing. They actually don't take, um, they don't do tax deed auctions, meaning they don't sell the actual properties themselves to the public. Instead, what they do is they, they, they generate what's called a tax lien. Um, so if you own a property in New York City, for example, and you fail to pay property taxes, the county will actually generate a tax lien, which just is a lien against the property, meaning it has to be paid uh, if you were to sell the property, the tax lien would have to be paid first before you could sell it. Um, and that lien is actually sold. So, um, so for example, you, in New York City, you could own a house and you could have a, uh, you could have a complete stranger own a lien um, on your property. And the reason that people buy those is because they, get, they collect interest and they make money that way. So... Um, so yeah, so those counties, we don't even bother with those because we're we're not concerned with tax liens. We're only concerned with counties that are selling actual homes and properties. So just so you know though, um, so a lot of the counties down in New York City um, will not be listed here, but that's fine. <clears throat> but let's take uh, let's take uh, Broome County, New York, for example. Okay, this one follows what most counties follow which is a tax deed auction and process is pretty straightforward. Um, after either two, three or four years, the county will, will uh, actually foreclose on the property and they'll take title, meaning they, they now own the property and then they will have an auction where they sell the property. What's kind of nice about New York is every county only, only does um, an annual tax sale so it's nice for us because it makes it somewhat predictable. Uh, typically, at least before the coronavirus happened, the counties would have a very sort of standard routine procedure for this where they might have their tax auctions around the same week every single year. So you could predict when the properties are gonna be available for publication and all that. But uh, right now everything is kind of out of whack. Um, but um, none, nonetheless, for the most part, I think, you know, 95% of the time, the counties are all do one annual tax foreclosure sale. So they will publish, they'll foreclose on the properties. And then once they have the title, they actually publish those uh, property listings. And that's when we want to grab them as soon as possible, as soon as they're available. Um, the other thing about New York State is a lot of them uh, probably at least half of the counties use auction companies to do their auctions. So let's take Broome County, for example. They will foreclose on the properties. And let's say they have 50 properties that the county now owns. Instead of like a county worker doing the auction, they'll, they'll, they'll enlist the services of a third-party auction company. So an auction company is like really good at this. They've been doing it for years. They organize it all and um, and hold the auction for some for the for the county, and in this case, Men, uh, Menesis does Broome County, and you can go to their website if you want. But <clears throat> you'll see. Uh, I guess it's not really important to go to their website, but you'll see um, in the CRM here. It'll have notes about who typically does their auctions. Um, Counties will typically stay 
they'll they'll keep the same auction company from one year to the next. Not always, but very very uh, frequently they'll do that. And we have those. We have all that information listed in this tab right here. So once you click on a county and you go to the navigation, click on related, go down here to organizations, and you'll see. Um, just hover over this. It says uh, that uh, it provides services to Broome County, so you know. Okay, well, this this is a helpful information to look at. So, for example, if they've got an auction coming up, a lot of times the auction company will publish the catalog or the auction list that uh, you can reference if needed for for county um, for the for the properties. It also has auction details and so forth. So that's kind of a rundown on New York State. I wanted to go through a couple of checklists. If uh, if you do happen to be working on I mean, within the CRM on New York State, any county in New York State, this is kind of a checklist to follow that's super helpful for us to keep track of all the counties and make sure we're on task and um, on, on schedule. So... For as far as auction dates for the counties, you want to make sure to add events for all auction dates to the CRM for, per county. That's really important. That's spelled out in the other video, the introductory video. You'll also want to be adding tasks. A task is basically a reminder to ourselves inside the CRM to come back and do something. So one scenario you want to make sure to add a task for to check for auction dates if uh if a county has not yet scheduled their auction but you think that they're going to in the very near future you want to set an alert or a new task for us to go back circle back to that county uh, one week from now or two weeks from now or whatever is appropriate to check and see if they have scheduled an auction yet you also want to check for property lists this is this is really important. This is a good task to have in there because quite frequently a county will have an auction scheduled, but they won't say for sure, well, we don't have properties yet. We think they're going to be available in three weeks, for example, or we think they're going to be available next week. Check back. So it's our job to go back and check and see if they've indeed published those properties. That's another important task that we want to be updating or or including in the CRM. Another one is to follow up. If, if for example, let's say a county doesn't have really enough information on their website for us to take action or figure out what's going on, if we need to call them during business hours or email them, then uh, that should be a task that's added to the CRM. So let's say that you're working and it's a weekend and you know the county is not going to be open for answering questions, then just put a task in there for the for the first weekday in the CRM that we need to follow up with that county, you know, whether it's sending an email or calling them to find out information that we need. The other thing to add is uh, add a tag to, uh, to the properties. So if a, if a county does have, a proper, have properties available, you want to add that tag. Uh, and then also the New York tag, which I think they're all tagged right now. But if you see any that we missed, go ahead and tag any New York county. So that covers New York. Um, obviously, watch the introductory video if you haven't already. That's going to fill in some of the gaps between uh, New York and inter, uh, general research tasks. But thank you for watching.